Hello, welcome back to the Xbox 11 Road to Glory series. Last time out we progressed to the third round of the cup where we'll be meeting top flight side partisan Valgretna. But first, back to the league where we are facing Deportivo Celesol in an important match that could decide our fates later on this season in terms of the relegation battle. So far this season we've played 3-5-2 in the home games and 4-5-1 in the away games. However, I've decided to mix it up this time by playing 3-5-2 away from home. Now this is a very risky strategy because we only have 3 defenders at the back should things go wrong. The team I've gone with is Aratani in goal. The back 3 of Gorga, Van der Kreese and Roddick. The midfield of Alonso, Kiviatkowski, Kayola, Tilbe and Kanamasas. And the front 2 of McQuiston and Casado. Deportivo Celesol has gone with a 4-3-3 formation which is a very interesting choice of formation and doesn't bode well with our three man defence. Anyway, the lineup is Lozano in goal, a back four of Abadelajo, Mickey, Nato and Dillingen, a midfield three of Axelsen, Steinsland and Pouchet, and a front three of Franja, Benavides and Goyan. Like ourselves, Deportivo are developing youngsters to replace their retiring oldies. But the oldies are still pretty skilled players. Pepon Mickey and Abel Benavides are especially dangerous, as is Felipe Pouchet in midfield, who is a master free kick taker and is a real threat from the set piece. With the teams in, let's go live to the Salchicha Stadium for the match. The captains are Felipe Pouchet and Sammy McQuiston, and the referee is Travis T. Both teams are in their first choice colour strip, and we're about to get the game underway in a few minutes' time. And we're going to kick off here. Kanamasa skips off the ball, passes it to Alonso. Seven minutes in, we've got the first shots of the game. Simon McQuiston! And he scores! What a start for Knights of Sidonia against the stronger team in Deportivo Celestal. We have the lead through Sammy McQuiston from Ronaldo Cayola's cross. If the results stay like this, we'll be up to fourth place in the league. Amazing! Deportivo getting possession now with Steinsland. And we've got a card here for Knights of Sidonia. Sammy and Christian has been yellow card for elbowing. And there's an injury for Deportivo Celso, this might be why. Abel Benavides is injured. Sammy and Christian has clearly elbowed Abel Benavides and forced him off. And Angel Breeze, the midfielder, is going to come on in place. We've got another chance here for McQuiston. And the ball misses the goal. I tell you what, Sammy and Christian is front and centre of everything that Knights of Sidonia are doing today. But Deportivo Celso on a free kick. And Felipe Pucci in their free kick master is going to hit straight on goal. He's just wide. We got away with that one, I must say. 33 minutes in, and it's 1 0 to Max and Sidonia, which is a great result. We have an injury here. Sergi Kiviatkowski has picked up a slight knock. Fortunately, he is able to continue in this game. So, Sammy and Christian again. Scores! 2 0 to Max and Sidonia. I'll tell you what, Sammy and Christian has had a look of the game. Oh. Offside, uh, let's off for Deportivo Celestal here. We're coming up to the end of the first half here. Deportivo Celestal have a chance for Matthias Axelsen, and he scores! It was fun while it lasted. 1 1. Matthias Axelsen equalises from a Newt Henry Steinland corner, and it is game on again. Half time 1 1. Look at the start. Since Jefferson has been a very even first half with two chances apiece. So, so far, you'd have to say this is a fair result, really. Let's start on the second half. We've got a chance saving this first half here. Sammy McQuiston steers the ball towards the goal. And it's an easy save for Adilson Azana. So that's our first chance of the game so far. We've got a free kick in a dangerous position here. Gavel goal though to take it. We beat Azana. And the goalkeeper tips it over the crossbar. Azana's come out on fire in this second half so far. Even against Gavril Gorgo, who's a top free kick taker himself. Renato Cayola has been yellow carded for brutal play. Our tactics here seem to be getting us yellow cards, but these must be done in order to try and reduce the deficit between our teams. They've got a free kick here in the 73rd minute of the game. As Felipe Pouchet straight on goal, and he scores! It was always going to happen. Felipe Pouchet against Kanji Aratani has given Deportivo Celestal the lead and we are now losing. And once again, we are bottom of the lead with just a single point. And the results aren't going our way at all. Martina Franja! Well, if already wasn't an impossible task already, 18-year-old Martina Franja has made it 3-1 to the home team. And we're going to need a miracle to come back from this now. 
Double team are making a few changes. Asturias is coming on and Roberto Roya will replace Amadelajo. Thank goodness, he has an awful last name which I can't be bothered to pronounce correctly. Anyway, I think that's it, we've lost the game. But we've got a free kick here. And Gavin will then reduce the deficit if nothing else. And that's steered outside the post. And that's it. That is it. It's the end of the game. Deportivo walked away with a 3-1 victory. It's a victory that while not catastrophic, does make it a lot harder than it was to survive now. With only two teams above us on three points and two on six points. So, tactical debrief time. Now here's to see exactly why our tactics didn't work against them and why we lost 3-1 despite dominating in periods and scoring an early goal. Let's take a look at the video again and see exactly what was going on in the possession graph. In the early part of the game, notice we are dominating the possession, but it goes down incredibly quickly to give them the possession. This meant our tactics dominated them in spurts due to our five-man midfield, but once they were tired out, the three-man midfield of Deportivo Sersol took control of possession here, despite us having a chance at that time, but that was in the period where they were earning three kicks and such. Another thing to note is that all of Deportivo Sersol's goals came in the last 15 minutes of each half. As you can see here, our possession is waning, they capitalised on this. Our players were very tired by this point, and Matthias Axelsen got the equaliser in the 41st minute after we had a goal disallowed. Now the second half was a very similar story, we dominated in chunks, but because the players were even more stressed than the first half due to all that running around, Deportivo were able to capitalise and as a result they managed to get their last two goals in the last 20 minutes of the game which led to Fanghar making it 3-1 to their team. It's a bit disappointing to put in our best performance of the season and still lose but the two players on the team of the week offer some encouragement going forward. The team of the week is Robert Budino, Roma Returner, a back four of Elliot Nielsen, the King Punks, Ronaldo Sainfuegos, Roma Returner, Pepo Mickey, Deportivo Sersol, and Gavril Gorga, Knights of Sardinia. A midfield four of Edward Mason, Roma Eterno, Amadio Codognola, Roma Eterno, Felipe Pouche, Deportivo Sersol, and Alistair Claven, Sadler City. Up front, Sammy McQuiston, Knights of Sardinia, and Amancio Guerra, the King Punks. The manager of the round was the Peeps, or Real Peeps, who managed to beat Sadler City 3 0 away from home. Speaking to him, he says he had no idea how he managed to pull that performance off. Both the King Punks and Roma Eterna recorded solid wins over relegation candidates Pakistan FC and Roma United. And yes, Pakistan are relegation candidates, there is an inherent flaw in their squad. The shock result of the day sees Sadler City move down to third place after a 3 0 defeat at home to Real Peeps. Meanwhile, Deportivo Selesol's win over us keeps them in fourth place and keeps us rooted to the bottom of the table on just a single point. It's kind of a depressing result really, but there is still a long way to go and we could still stay up. In fact, Deportivo Sarasol play Real Peeps in the next round, and Deportivo Sarasol have a 100% record against Real Peeps from last season. A win in the same round for us against Roma United would see us moving to just two points off escaping relegation. So the fate of our Division 6 life hangs in the balance of a team we faced in Division 7 last season. If you like this video then feel free to watch more and if you'd like to keep up with this series on a regular basis you can always subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to play Expert 11 yourself there's a link in the description below. Now we have a more user friendly tactics interface. I've been the A person and I'll be back next week for more Expert 11. See you guys then.